Yo, what's going on guys and welcome to NBA 2K23. It's my first video of the year and I'm super excited to do it. Uh, this year I'll be playing both my team and my career. The my career videos will be out tomorrow. I got a dope rec gameplay going out tomorrow. Um, but uh, I figured I would play my team and now I've been playing my team for since 2K18 and every year I've had that Hall of Fame mom's credit card badge. Uh, I was there for every pack drop, wasted a shitload of money on this game on past games uh it was pretty bad but this time this year we're going with a no money spent account this year's looking like a super dope year to be no money spent um and it's nice every year 2k has done a better job at going no money spent and uh making it easier on people now this year's a little bit more grindy but uh there's a ton of stuff to get into you'll see in the video about what i'm talking about how it's super easy to be no money spent this year uh even with the people who are you know spending money ripping packs getting all those dope cards there should still be a bunch of free cards that are be that'll be just as good as those pack drops uh and obviously the budget beast that will come with that so if you guys enjoyed the video let me know in the comment section below uh let me know what you're thinking about the game so far i think 2k23 is a massive dub i think it's probably the best one since pro uh since 20 if i'm being honest uh so 23 so far massive massive dub uh but yeah let me know in the comment section below how you're feeling about the game and uh let's get right into the video i right, getting right into it as you guys can see here we are opening up our starter packs Nothing too crazy from the starter packs. It's just a bunch of gold. Now, my initial plan when I started this series was I was going to sell everything I got. Every single pack I opened, I was going to sell every single thing in it. But if you might have noticed, uh, there, it, there, there are a bunch of cards now that are unauctionable. Free shit you get becomes unauctionable cards. Kind of tough, but honestly, with the way they made it this year, uh, the way they've improved the token market and all that stuff, it's honestly not a big deal that there's a bunch of non-auctionable cards. As you guys can see, I'm naming my team. We are the budget ball sacks this year uh, from Toronto. My favorite team are the Raptors. So, but yeah, uh, the non auctionable cards are kind of tough, but you're going to see how it's not so bad. There's a bunch of collections to get, a bunch of dope free cards to get, and you just get a ton of pack, or not a ton of packs, but you get just a bunch of free shit constantly. So, it's pretty nice. Now, after I named my team, uh, it put me into a solo clutch time game. Um, nothing too crazy, but as you can see, I'm just going through the battle pass here. Uh, I do plan on getting the Scotty Pippen. Uh, grinding the XP this year doesn't seem too difficult. Um, as you can see, I I've stopped on these elite franchise highlights. I will get to that in one second, uh, but they're super important this year. Uh, but yeah, I think the 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 level 40 rewards kind of decent like Scotty Pippen's looking good The f other free pink diamonds actually have more Hall of Fame badges than the Scotty Pippen already So hopefully the level 40 rewards are actually worth it this year and they do update them when needed uh, I'm sure they're gonna update that Scotty Pippen regardless is still a defensive beast and like Scotty Pippen cards are always really good early on in the year But uh getting over to the trophy case rewards. I start going through it. You got a galaxy opal Patrick Ewing uh looking like a pretty decent card he does have that same slow jump shot then you got galaxy opal jimmy butler gilbert arenas clyde drexler anthony davis and chris paul and then you got when you collect uh all those galaxy opals you get a dr j for the east tim duncan for the west and the final lock-in will be for larry bird dark matter now, as you guys can see i stopped on the clyde drexler and this is actually the galaxy opal i'm going for first i was just looking at the pink diamonds and i think these pink diamonds are potentially the best ones now i know a lot of people are gonna want to use um the derrick rose probably like i've seen i've seen people use the derrick rose already like get them already but i think the westbrook is looking crazy good um the Wally looks in, looking awesome. He gets a Hall of Fame Limitless. The Page is going to be a good spot up shooter. Sabonis, so he's a 7 3 center with a 92 3 ball. Uh, so, I, I, I honestly, I think going for Clyde Drexler should be pretty nice. Clyde Drexler isn't the most hype name uh, when it comes to 2K, but I do enjoy his cards every year. And over to the token market, as you can see, it's a little different this year. We got those Eastern Conference packs and the Western Conference packs. Those are the current series sets. Uh, so, it's got like the Amethyst, LeBron, Giannis, Curry, all that good stuff. Um, for 30 tokens, you get those starters with the amethyst in them. Um, but I didn't do that. I had I went over to this uh, 2K Day historic thing. Now they only did it for the weekend for 2K uh, Day for the launch week and all that stuff. Um, but it was one token, and you got like a huge jump start on whatever team you're trying to collect for. Uh, so I was I was collecting for OKC, so that's where I put all these packs that I bought into. But there were only one token, and I believe you got nine of them. So it took nine out of 15. Um, off rip and it only took me 30 minutes to do so heading over to the pack market i did do the challenge in 2k uh 22 to get the free hall of fame badge and shoe as you guys can see there then i got my free ruby coach uh from the packs Opened up my Sapphire Devin Booker and Ruby Michael Jordan. I did pre-order those packs. And then I hopped straight into my uh, 
guaranteed 10 back or 10 pack box with the guaranteed amethyst topper and i got literally nothing from it there wasn't even a point showing it but everyone did get the same amethyst player which was kind of tough uh but the new walkout animation is super cool it's a good way to show it off but it was super tough that everyone ended up with this xavier mcdaniels but it's fine free amethyst off rip he's nothing too too crazy but he is a pretty decent card to start the year off with uh, and then i had some other promo packs which i pulled absolutely fucking nothing out of i don't think i pulled anything higher than a sapphire as you see i unlocked the uh, auction house here got myself a sapphire shack looking at the team it looks like fucking dog shit and i know you guys see that vc in the top corner i did pre-order the jordan edition i have the extra vc from spending money on my my career uh player to get him upgraded pretty quite quick but i made sure to leave 100k vc so i can do this pack opening right at the beginning of the video uh for the first video everyone loves to do packs this will be the only packs i open uh with vc this year uh and i decided to get a 10 pack box and this was the worst fucking decision i have ever made i don't think i pulled anything higher than a sapphire in this pack like i got a sapphire rudy gay which is decent i lied i got a ruby paul Millsap, dennis rodman like it was pretty garbage last pack absolutely nothing now, at this point uh i started thinking about what i was doing last year to get a ton of nt and tokens off rip and i actually and last year i did the draft now uh the reward last year was definitely much better you got that pink diamond glenn robinson but as you can see picking my coaches pretty decent starting lineup draft is actually a super super big dub this year in terms of how you get to draft your players it's not just a bunch of gold shitty players as you can see full sapphire lineup got a couple rubies plus i got the uh the limitless pack which which did actually bless me quite a bit uh but it's a pretty decent squad honestly uh, and it's fun it's fun to play this year uh, i do got that duo with zach levine demar Derozan, fucking crazy duo but as you see you got diamond curry my boy scotty and Pau gasol now let me tell you Pau gasol is an extremely good center right, getting into our first ever online game and this guy got a crazy draft himself amethyst boogie pink diamond dominique Di uh amethyst curry diamond zach levine dude had a crazy team now he wins tip and then calls the timeout immediately and then we had to sit in that timeout screen for fucking ever i don't know why people do that shit it's annoying as hell but uh first play of the game for him he's coming up with curry hits us with the little curry slide and i was playing horrible defense defense is a little weird this year as well but like i said the whole game feels completely different but as you can see jimmy butler for whatever reason drops off of dominique wide open three green light now i'm trying to get into my freelance here and get it uh put in work with this amethyst curry dribbling is also pretty weird as you can see nice little step back there and i fucking bricked it now i was just doing some really dumb things this video uh making really dumb plays as you can see just turn the ball over instantly there uh so i uh, the big part of this loss was me just playing down i definitely thought i was better than this guy but he did also have a crazy good team this zach levine and dominique were just destroying us in the paint i don't know how this wasn't three seconds on boogie but we do get the stop gasol with the rebound i'm running it up with my boy curry i thought about the floater here but I, then i dish it off to scotty and he slams it gets us on the board next possession i was trying to get my freelance in order and i jet the open lane with curry going to lay it up and dominique just fucking obliterates that shit and he comes up with john collins i play horrible defense and gets a nice easy slam so now sizing up with curry get myself an open lane go for the layup and dominique obliterates that shit once again but then Paul Gasol gets free and slams it down for me now remember how i said i was just doing really dumb things all video long take a look at this possession nice little step back with curry and then i just pop it They're like i wasn't even a little bit open but i just popped it all right it is the start of the second quarter uh dribbling the ball up with scott scales i actually wanted darius garland in here don't really know but scott scales gets that nice little cheesy layup to go in for us uh then dino with a nice block on his steph curry steph curry's layups honestly are not very good this year pretty bad layup package he's pretty slow passing the ball off to demar Derozan. nice beauty slam there now he's dribbling the ball around next possession with his steph curry i thought he curry slid into me but i guess not he ends up breaking the shot we pull down that rebound getting it up to zach levine and we are off to the races and then i get fouled i don't know how that was not goaltending uh anthony davis's arm was in the rim but whatever now uh free throws are actually super tough this year if you don't green it you're not hitting it it's pretty much how it goes as you can see on this second shot here the little bounce back only 25 percent and then zach levine does this shit we're missing free throws and hitting the back of the backboard shit's fucking crazy possession here i was kind of off balling a little bit i was just trying to force him to shoot a shot with either his boogie or his anthony davis i knew that he probably wouldn't have been able to hit that shot if he did and 
his Dominique and Zach Levine were honestly like just fisting me. It was crazy. But as you can see, he's in the corner with Curry, sets the screen with Boogie. And I honestly had this guy boxed up until DeMar decides to drop and leaves his Dominique wide open for three. Next possession, he's sending double teams. I find Gasol. I thought I was open for three here, but Anthony Davis does end up getting the contest, and I do brick that shot. But getting into the post with Pau Gasol. Now, this is where he starts feasting and one poster dunk with Gasol. And I do end up missing the, the free throw here. Next possession, as you see, he's driving in with Dominique. And I'm really trying to get him to pass that ball off to Anthony Davis. But he does not. And then he hits me with a nice little curry slide. Completely breaks my ankles. And greens that three. Some crazy shit. But as you see, pull up with curry. Green light. I started to feel it a little bit here. You know, I was seeing some shots now. I, as you can see, I'm still trying to force that shot. But Dominique just blows right by Jimmy Butler. I was playing some pretty bad defense here. I'm going to hit Jimmy with the ball here. And we're going to go up for that nice little poster slam all over anthony davis next possession here he gets kind of bailed out with that red contest 63 percent layup but then i drive in with curry hit my boy pal gasol wide open for three another green light we hit it start of the third quarter we are up by two and now i'm struggling to try and sub in garland and then he doubles me and i instantly turn the ball over he ties the game back up with drew holiday now the midi game this year is actually super super nice so you're gonna see me go to work a little bit as you see nice little contested midi jumper there with demar green light pushing the ball up with zach levine i pass it off to demar once again brick that one now i'm in the post hit him with that nice little mj post fade damar was going crazy turned into prime mj he then does break me with this drew holiday here we got pretty lucky that drew took that weird layup so now i'm pushing the pace up here with scott skiles we're gonna drop a nice little dime off to paul Millsap. we got pretty lucky that didn't get blocked but he's gonna uh, tie the game up right away with his zach levine he was just running around my players now i thought i took a charge here i guess i wasn't completely set i looked completely set i was pretty pissed off i thought i had a big brain play there we get the rebound with Dino, giving the ball over to Garland. Now we're pushing the ball up the floor. Now I'm not going to lie, we ended up getting boxed up this, this play, but uh, DeMar DeRozan actually bails us out. So we're getting in the post with, with Dino. Nice little drop step there. Doesn't really get much from it. Give the ball over to DeMar. Hit him with that nice little, little fake spin there. And then we hit the post fade over Dominique. That was a deep one too, 35% contested. We hit it, two point lead once again. Then Zach Levine just blows right by, standing dunk poster. We could not stop him. We get that nice little manual cut with Dino. He slams it down. Now we got 10 seconds left in the third quarter. I get free with Zach Levine, take flight. Nice little dunk, low on stamina. We tied the game up. And then he gets a nice easy layup with his Zach Levine. I just could not stop this Zach Levine. He's back up by two. All right, start of the fourth quarter, down by two. And this is where things just really fell apart for me. Uh, all the IQ went out the window. I don't know what I was doing, but you're about to see the craziest choke. Get, then I get Clay on the manual cut. He hits a crazy layup for me. I do not know how he got that to go down. Uh, now, Pau Gasol comes up clutch here. Get a nice little block with Gasol. This Gasol card is crazy, crazy good. Now, I don't really know what I was doing this possession with Scotty Barnes. As you can see, i like trying to post up nobody. Then I do end up posting up uh, John Collins, but just decide to kick it over to Jimmy. And I actually hit Curry with a nice little spin here. I get a nice easy layup. Uh, we tie the game up once again. I'm feeling pretty good. Uh, Clay Thompson does drop, but we get super lucky that he ends up, ends up missing this three with Dominique. Getting the rebound with Pau Gasol. I start pushing the pace. Got take over. Tie game. I'm feeling it. And I take that shot. And now I'm like, fuck sakes. No wonder I am losing. He gets another easy layup with DeMarcus Cousins. But I find my boy Pau Gasol on the cut. Now the next possession here, as you can see, kicks it down to Boogie. Scotty Barnes drops once again. Wide open three for John Collins. He does end up greening it. Now I'm just flustered. I was pissed off. I take a garbage shot with Curry. I miss that one, which just leads to a wide open slam for Dominique. Now, next possession, I see Gasol wide open in takeover, and I break it. That would have been a big, big three. Now, I do end up getting a stop here. He then fouls me, and I call a timeout. I figured I want to put in my duo of DeMar DeRozan and Zach Levine, and then immediately do some dumb shit. I turn the ball over fucking instantly, uh, but we do end up stopping this fast break pretty well. We guarded it pretty well. Uh, I end up getting a steal here with Scotty Barnes. I still got a chance. There's 50 seconds left. I got a chance. I definitely got a chance, but then I take... Almost take a bad shot with Curry, pass out of that, get into the post with Damar, and just took a horrible, horrible mid-range. And as you can see, we lost 56 to 52, and I just could not believe I lost that game. Uh, pretty tough, but that's, that's going to do it for the first video of my No Money Spent series. Not much gameplay. Next video should have more gameplay, uh, but if you guys enjoyed the video, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.